All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to multiply positives and negative numbers. And what we're going to do is we're going to start off with a big old times tables grid, just like the times tables grid, I don't know, that you used when you were learning how to multiply regular old positive numbers, probably in third grade. The only difference is up here, we have numbers from negative 4 to 4. So this times tables grid, we're going to include some negative numbers, and we also include some negative numbers down here in this grid. And uh, But we fill in the values just like we do with a regular times tables grid. So over here we've got a 4 times 4, and of course that answer is 16. And then here we've got 3 times 4 is 12. Here we've got 2 times 4 is 8. And here we've got 1 times 4 is 4. And lastly, we have 0 times 4 is, of course, 0. And we're going to stop right there. Um, and then let's go to the next column here. So here we've got 4 times 3, and that's 12. And then we have 3 times 3, and that's 9. And then 2 times 3 is 6. And then 3. And finally, 0 times 3 is 1. I mean, 0. Moving to the next column, we're going to do 4 times 2, four, 3 times 2, 2 times 2, 1 times 2, and 0 times 2. And finally, the last column here, we're going to do the 1. So 4 times 1, 3 times 1, 2 times 1, 1 times 1, and 0 times 1. So that's the, the positive numbers, and that's the times tables grid so far from what you learned probably back in third grade. Um, now we can fill in the rest of this stuff. Well, first off, let's fill in this this row of zeros because anything times zero is always zero. And then we can also fill in this grid, I mean this row right here. Zero times four, three times zero, two times zero. Everything times zero is always zero. So, now we've got these three blocks of numbers that we still need to find the answers for. Uh, but right now we don't know how to get these answers because it involves multiplying by negative numbers and we don't know how to do that yet. Well the cool thing is we can get these answers just by looking at patterns. So take a look. We've got right here, if we looked at this column right here, we'll notice that to go from 16 to 12 to 8 to 4, we're always subtracting by 4. Well, that means we can keep going and follow that pattern. So if we go to 0 and subtract 4, we're going to get negative 4. Subtracting 4 is negative 8, even more and more. So we can get these answers just by following the pattern, even though, technically speaking, we don't know how to multiply by negative numbers yet. Well, we can get these answers in this column by following the pattern. This time, it looks like it's always going down by 3. So 0 minus 3 minus another 3 minus another 3 minus another 3. Suddenly we've got all those answers. In this column it's going down by 2. And I know this looks like it's getting bigger by 2, but it's not. It's actually going down by 2. So you have to remember that negative 4 is less than negative 2. So we're always subtracting here. And then here we're going smaller by 1. All right. <clears throat> now we can get these answers in this block by following the exact same patterns that we just did in the columns, only this time we're going to do it in the rows. So here you've got 16, 12, 8, 4, 0. So it's always going down by 4. So that makes this negative 4, negative 8, negative 12, and negative 16. And this we can go backwards by 3, subtract by 3. In this row, we can see we're going down by 2. And finally, this row looks like it's going down by 1 each time. So now we have this one last block right here. And what we'll, we'll do is we'll look at these columns here. To go from negative 16 to negative 12 means we're getting bigger by 4. 
to go from negative 12 to negative 8 means we're getting bigger by 4. So it looks like this column keeps adding by 4 each time. So 0 plus 4 is 8, plus 4, plus 4, and plus 4 is 16. So that column was getting bigger by 4. So this column looks like it's getting bigger by 3. So 0 plus 3, plus 3, plus 3, plus 3. This column is getting bigger by 2. So 0 plus 2 is 2, plus 2, plus 2, plus 2. And lastly, we've got this column, which is getting bigger by 1. And so there we've filled in the entire grid. And really, the only times multiplication that we actually knew were the positive numbers. Everything else, we got the answer based on following patterns. So now it's time for us to look for more patterns. So we've got this grid filled with answers, and the answers are correct beyond a shadow of a doubt because we found patterns. So we can see, if we look for all the negative answers, we can see the negative answers are here and here. And if we look for the positive answers, we can see the positive answers are here and here. And then now, if we want to look at these answers, like these answers right here, these were the results of a positive times a positive. And then down here, we see that these are the results of negative times a negative. And over here, these answers, these red areas, are negative answers. And this one here is the result of multiplying a positive times a negative. And down here, these negative answers are the result of multiplying a negative by a positive. So if we kind of put all these out here and make it easy for us to kind of keep in mind what we just discovered here. So we see up here um, a positive times a negative is a negative, and a negative times a positive is a negative. And then looking at this diagonal, we can see that a positive times a positive is positive. And when multiplying a negative times a negative, we get a positive answer. So the big thing that I want us to learn by watching, looking at all these patterns, is that when multiplying two numbers, if the two signs are the same, then the product is positive. That's these two green areas. Whether you're multiplying two negatives or two positives, the answer is always positive. And then the second rule is when multiplying two numbers, if the two signs are different, then the product is negative. Like up here, product, positive times a negative is equal to a negative. And down here, the two signs are different. One's a negative, the other's a positive. And we still get a negative answer.